I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like to yo what is up guys surgical goblin here and welcome to this new episode in today's video i will be sharing this 3.0 hawk rider cycle deck i bet most of you guys know this deck already but it's a really solid uh hawk rider deck either for ladder or tournament this deck is really popular on ladder but i also for example use it in ccgs uh, the top 10 of Europe, so it's really a deck like for both, so uh, definitely a really solid and consistent deck in my opinion. But before I start with this episode, I want to mention and ask a few things, because as you guys can see, uh, my setup is a little bit different I guess, because on the wall, I put the King's Cup invitation, I've been invited for King's Cup 2, as a pro player, I'm teaming up with Clash with Ash, so big shout out to Clash with Ash, I will include his uh, YouTube channel in the description as well, so make sure to check him out. And also my sub button, 100k sub button, uh, I put that one. And as you guys can see uh, right now, I have six pictures over there above my bed. Used to be two, but I ordered new ones, so six pictures of live event. I posted those pictures on, uh, like pictures of my room on Twitter. So if you if you guys want to see my room as it's right now, make sure to check it out. But you guys can see it a little bit, so that's changed. Also, I have two questions for you guys, because we're about to hit 400k uh, subs. Because right now I think we have like 382, which is absolutely insane. I've been doing YouTube for like 10 months, I believe. And we're already that um, yeah, big, like a big YouTuber, I guess. So big shout out to you guys. But if you guys have a good 400k sub special, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have the time, please read the comments. And if you see a really good idea, make sure to like it. So it's easier for me to see your ideas for 400k sub special. And the last question, guys. Um of today's episode and then i will start sorry for the the talking a lot but i have a lot of um questions about letter episodes and i was thinking about doing a letter series this hawk rider cycle deck as you guys can see i just need to upgrade the fireball and i have enough gold right now so if you guys would like to see it i would upgrade the fireball and try to go for top 200 life in episodes so i would start a letter series from where i'm right now like right now i never play letter and then I will try to go for top 200. So that would be a cool episode or a series idea in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Because of course you guys are the viewers. For me it would be a lot of fun. But for you guys it has to be a lot of fun as well. But let's hop into this grand challenge right now. As I said 4-0. So let's see if we are able to uh, make it 7-0 or 8-0. And let's see. Let's give this guy a thumbs up and a good luck. He says wow he probably knows us. But let's see, I will start off with the princess in the back, because princess uh, in the back is a passive move. It doesn't show right away what deck we have. Right now, he uh, he doesn't know what deck we have, because we show the mini P.E.K.K.A. And as I said, this deck is quite popular, so he probably knows it. And let's see. Wow, he has an executioner. But the mini P.E.K.K.A. should be able to kill that, let's see. Oh, wow, it actually didn't. But I think with the lock and the help of the princess, it should die. Yeah, there you go, our princess stays alive. He does have a lock, so that tells us he doesn't have Zap. Um, so we will go with bats as well, and this is really, oh, he actually has tornado, well played by him, and this is really strong about this deck, because if your opponent has lock, you can, um, of course, wait for it, for them to use it on something else, or, like, put your princess in a placement where they can't lock it, but if they only have a lock, you can take advantage of that by, uh, using your bats in a really offensive way, but also defense, of course, and if they don't have um, a lock, you can just stack princesses and you can get so much value out of your princesses. So that is something I really like about this deck. Of course, if they have lock and zap, it will be... Um, yeah, you would be in a bad situation. But not that many decks have and lock and zap. So I guess that is why this deck is really good right now. So let's see. He has the knight coming. We have the princess in the other lane. I will drop my ice golem towards his knight. I will lock his knight uh, tower and the archers just to damage them. And looks like he uh, went with a lock on our princess, but I think we should be able to defend this. And he does have tornado, but he still needs to take... Oh, wow, well, he actually gives us a good rocket. Uh, we, we need to make sure to hit the tower. But he actually does tornado, but he doesn't activate his king tower, so that's interesting. And again, we will go with bats, and this is a good example of him not having the zap. Of course, he could drop his arches, but because he doesn't have zap, bats get so much value on defense. Like his knight, they just eat the knight like it's nothing, they eat it alive. Uh, we just need to make sure we keep our counters in hand, like we don't want to go offensive with the mini P.E.K.K.A. We always want to keep it for the Hawk Rider. Uh, he uses lock offensive, sort of a prediction move, but interesting because we don't have goblins or anything. I will go with a lock on his arches. The mini P.E.K.K.A. is actually going to the executioner and is getting again one hit. And we cycle back to princess, so we actually have two princesses right now. Uh, again, he goes with a Hawk Rider. I will go... Oh, he does have a... Um 
a lock again. It's really interesting that he's using his lock on offense. But look at the princess on this side. Yeah, I was about to say, look at the princess on this side. If he doesn't respond to that, it will take a tower. And wow, he misclicked his um, tornado. And I think that's a good game, guys. Uh, sorry if I'm still coughing. Sometimes I'm coughing, and especially right now, I'm talking quite a lot. So I guess that is why um, I start coughing again. But let's throw the rocket to his tower. It should be a good, uh, good game. Only five seconds left. Good game, well played, and a thumbs up. And that is the first game. So he had um, the Adam deck. I'm not sure if you guys watch CCGS, but Adam actually used this deck. But he doesn't have arches, or he didn't have arches, I believe. But let's start right away with another uh, battle. And let's see if we face a different archetype. Uh, one of the hardest archetypes, a really good lock bait player. Because if they play really aggressive, they could outcycle you. Let's go with a lock. Uh, let's go with a mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and the Hawk Rider will get two hits, I think. Yeah, there you go, two hits. But we do have a counter push right now. But he has bets. And that is also um, why I dropped my Ice Spirit. Because if he dropped his bet, which he did, uh, we would be able to get some value. He goes with a Fireball. But the mini P.E.K.K.A. will get two hits. And wow, that's so much damage. Got the Hawk Rider got like two hits. The mini P.E.K.K.A. got like um, got two hits. And he goes in with a Bandit, so he has a Bandit Hawk Rider deck, sort of two win condition, I guess. I would not see Bandit as a win condition, but of course, if I use my Hawk Rider counters, maybe that's my Bandit counters as well. So that's uh, quite interesting, but we were able to counter it with just uh, a simple Ice Golem, just by blocking it with a simple Ice Golem. And he goes with a Mega Knight, and the mini pack is actually really strong for the Mega Knight, but I will uh, make sure he can support the Mega Knight, because that could, get a, uh, that could be a problem. So I will go with uh, Hawk Rider on this side, and then I will have my mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, wow, well, he actually goes with bets. So right now the bets will be a problem. So we are forced to go with bets on the Mega Knight because I'm more scared of the Mega Knight than his uh, Electro Wizard, and he zapped on that side as well. Of course he dealt a lot of damage with the Electro Wizard, but I just didn't want to uh, get a Mega Knight with bets on my tower. So, looks like he's using a Mega Knight uh, Hawk Rider Cycle deck. Um, interesting because he has Bandit as well. I didn't see this variation at all yet, I think. But let's just go with... Um... Okay, well, this is hard to defend. This is really interesting by him. Well played by him. Uh, I went with the Ice Spirit for the Bandit because I was more afraid of the Hawk Rider getting a ton of damage than the Bandit. Of course, he's going for the right side tower, but I think eventually he might be able to get it. So I decided to defend the Hawk Rider. Uh, and we just need to like keep the good counters in hand, I guess. Let's see if he goes with a Mega Knight. Yeah, there you go. He goes with a Mega Knight. I'll go with um, an Ice Column over here. I'll go with a Mini P.E.K.K.A. And if he decides to uh, zap, which he does, we were able to cycle back to bets Because this deck cycles so quick, guys. Um, if he goes in with a Hawk Rider, I'll actually pressure right, uh, right now with a Hawk Rider on this side. Let's see if he goes with a Mega Knight. He decides to go with a Hawk Rider over here, and I will lock just to make sure the Hawk Rider doesn't get a hit. Oh, wow, it still got a hit. I thought that if you drop the bats, maybe I should have dropped the bats a little bit earlier. But let's see. Um, he still needs to go with a Fireball on that side, but he needs to spend more as well because it's not in Fireball range yet. So he needs to zap it as well. And let's say he uses zap right now on offense with the Mega Knight. He will not be able to take down the tower over there. So let's go with a mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's go with an Ice Golem. Look. And he still needs to take the tower with a Fireball and a Zap. The uh, Fireball is not enough for HP. So he still needs to Zap. And one second. Yeah, there you go. He does have to Zap. But he's really low on Elixir right now, guys. We have the mini P.E.K.K.A. We have the bats over there. Mini P.E.K.K.A. connects to the tower. And that is a good game. Let's give him the good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. Really interesting matchup. We um, didn't have a structure. So it was quite hard to defend. But in my opinion, we did it really well. Uh, let's see the matchup again. So he has the the I actually shared this deck in the last episode But he doesn't have an ice column, but he has a bandit. So interesting. It was actually quite hard to defend So definitely uh, well played to him But we were able to take the win especially at the end He had to spend so much elixir to take the tower and we were able to counter his push and get a counter push And he didn't have any elixir yet and wow this is the iPad pro gamer I actually faced him before in one of my episodes, but a really long time ago but this is one of the guys with the most Grand Challenge cards won. So he, um, I don't know how much cards. I will show his profile soon. But his profile is absolutely insane, guys. I will go with bets behind this. Let's see if he has a zap or anything. Uh, otherwise, the bets will be able to take on the down the bandit. And let's see. Wow. Uh, I actually really want to win this episode or uh, battle because I know he's a really good player. I will go with Rocket for his Electro Wizard. We had the Princess and the Ice Spirit to kill his Bandit. The Rocket for the Princess, he goes with... Uh, or the Rocket for the E-Wiz, he goes with Poison on our Princess. 
And looks like he's using some sort of control deck, maybe um, Hawk Rider or Miner, I think. Maybe with Pekka, maybe with Mega Knight. He didn't show a lot of cards yet, but I'm assuming uh, Miner Cycle because he has the Bandit as well. Uh, he has Minions as well. Interesting deck so far. I think he has Pekka. Yeah, there you go. There's his Pekka. Uh, the Hawk Rider will still get one hit, which is really good for us. And Mini Pekka will actually do work to the Big Pekka. I will uh, show you guys right now, but look at the Mini Pekka soon, guys. He does have a Bandit over there as well. Um, while well, we're la we're lagging, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we are lagging quite bad. But we cycle back to a mini Pekka. Unfortunately, we were lagging there, so the ice golem wasn't able to tank for the mini Pekka. And while well, we took a lot of damage, that's really unfortunate, guys. But let's see if we can uh, recover from the uh, from the lag. We still have the mini Pekka going there, of course. He has some um, goblins. Uh, and let's see, he has a better ram as well. He will go with minions, and I think we will lose our tower right here. I'll actually go with um, an ice golem, and I think this is tower. Let's see. Yeah, he goes with a poison. I will go with a hawk rider because I know he doesn't have too much elixir, but we don't have too much elixir too because I had to spend so much elixir to defend that push. Uh, because of lag, the ice golem didn't drop. I don't. I wasn't sure if you guys saw that, but the ice golem dropped so late. But we might be able to still get this, guys. Let's not give up. Only 50 seconds left. Uh, or still 50 seconds left. Of course, only as well. Because it's not much at all. But let's see. Um, go with a mini P.E.K.K.A. He went with a, a P.E.K.K.A. Thinking that we would go with, with Hawk Rider. So let's go with Bats over here. Well, I don't want the Bandit to hit my um, Princess. So let's go with Hawk Rider right now. And I know that he has Goblins, so I'll try to predict the Goblins. Let's see, there you go, we predicted the Goblins. Let's see if we are able to get some damage right now, guys. Let's go with Bats, one more hit, please. No, no more hit from the Hawk Rider. That's really unfortunate for us. And let's see, let's see. Uh, I need to cycle to my Hawk Rider. I will go with um, a Hawk Rider again. I will try to lock over here, and let's see if we are able to take down the tower. Uh, Yes, it is rocket range, but I think we will lose this game right now, guys, because he has so much elixir. But let's see if we are able to clutch this guy's quite close game so far. He used his, um, he used his Zep, so we were able to go with bats. I will go with princess. Um, let's see, let's see. We are just cycling to our bats right now because we know he doesn't cycle uh, as quick as we do. And wow, looks like we're actually coming back, sort of, I guess. Uh, it's really close, but luckily we were able to take down the tower, even after losing so much elixir and losing so much HP. We are slowly getting back into the game. Um, we do need to watch out. Let's see if he goes. Yeah, there you go. He goes with a P.E.K.K.A., so that's interesting. With a offensive P.E.K.K.A., I will go with offensive. Uh, maybe a little bit too cocky, but I guess we have to. And the minions actually died, so that's really good for us. Let's see if he goes with goblins. Uh, we did a little bit late. That's unfortunate for us. But let's see, uh, this time hopefully the Ice Golem doesn't lag because we really need the Ice Golem to be tanking for the uh, P.E.K.K.A while the Mini P.E.K.K.A is smashing at it. So as you guys saw, the Mini P.E.K.K.A actually does work versus the P.E.K.K.A. But unfortunately in the first push, uh, we weren't able to get that done. Let's go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A for his Electro Wizard. And I'm thinking about going for Trick Out, but maybe it's too crazy. Uh, maybe this will end up in a draw. But let's go with a Princess. Let's go with... Um, I just need to... Uh, let's see, I think I will go with a rocket over here. Maybe it's too crazy, but let's see. I'll go with bats. We do hit the uh, uh, goblins and we also hit the... Um, okay, so he goes with... Let's see. Sorry if I'm commentating really poor right now, guys, but I try to focus because this is really close. As you guys can see, of course, the mini pickup was able to take it out and that's really good. And we just need to get one good push right now, guys. Uh, we still have one minute left and I think we were we should be able to... Maybe predict like his goblins or something. But we just need to keep this in cycle because he will... Oh, wow, I misclicked my bet, so I meant to put it a little bit higher. But it's no problem. And I think if we get a really good prediction right now, we should be able to get it. But let's see. Uh, the mini pack I might connect. No, it doesn't connect. Uh, we just need to... Wow, this is so close, guys. We're already 40 seconds into overtime. And this is just a really solid player. Let's go with mini pack in the back. Um, and let's see. Let's go with Ice Golem, Hawk Rider. We know he has Goblins, so I will try to predict his Goblins. There's his Goblins. And let's see if the Hawk Rider gets some damage. The Hawk Rider is dealing a lot of damage, but it's not enough. And let's see if we are able to cycle back to another one. Uh, maybe we are not. We need to defend right now, guys. Only 20 seconds left into the overtime. I think this is a draw. And wow, crazy game. Crazy. Um, oh, wow. We don't need to get... 
Oh, it froze. It froze it. 10 seconds left. No, no, no. Don't take it for... We just need 4 seconds to launch the rocket, but it's not enough. And it's actually a draw. Wow, crazy episode. Good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. I think it was so boring to watch it, but actually intense as well. But really well played by him. Luckily, we were able to actually make a comeback. He definitely had the better matchup in this one. As you guys can see, better Ram, um, Pekka deck with the Bandit. Crazy... Uh, battle but wow definitely well played shout out to the ipad pro gamer look at his challenge cards 900k challenge cards won so this guy is crazy he's grinding i would not say um all day long but for sure every day he's grinding every day for sure so big shout out to him i think i will end the episode right here guys because it's already quite a long episode but again let me know if you have a 400k sub special also let me know if you guys would like to see letter series if you guys enjoyed this episode uh don't forget to smack that like button if you're not subscribed to my channel yet feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye guys